In this video, we will be creating cool CLI typing animations from a simple script. To do that, we will be using a project named VHS. So further ado, let's get started. Now, this time we will be doing things differently. I will skip the installation step and go straight on how to use VHS. And while doing so, we will be animating some of the installed instructions. So you will have idea on that as well. To get started, as always, I will check the program version. So I type VHS dash dash version and as we can see, it is installed. Now let's use it. To do so, we use the command VHS new followed by the file name. Since we will be animating installation instructions, I will be naming it like that. Then we add .tape as the file extension because this is what VHS uses and to be honest, it perfectly fits the theme. Anyways, once I've executed this command, as you can see, it created this file. Now, if we open that up, we will see the default example. On top of the file, we have the documentation, including possible commands and settings for creating CLI type animations. If we go to the bottom, we saw an example animation instructions. They are pretty useful for understanding the script structure, which we can see that it is separated in two parts. In the top, we see that we have the initial settings, such as output file, font size, terminal width, and height. If we move on to the bottom, part, we can see the actual typing animation behavior. To visualize it better, if we combine and execute this script, it will create a GIF file which has an output like that. At this point, I think you probably got the idea of how things can be done, but enough said. Let's write our own animation script. So here's what I have in mind. If we go to the project site and open up the installation section, we see that we have a bunch of options. I say that we pick two from it. So let's pick homebrew installation method for Mac and Linux, and let's pick this scoop installation method for Windows. That way we can keep things simple. To animate these, let's head back to our script and get to work. So first, we need to change our output file. To keep things consistent, I will name it to installation instructions.gif. And while we are there, you can also specify a directory in this field, like under the text directory and so on. But I won't be doing that. Next, we can keep the font and dimension settings as is. It is good for our use case. And that's basically it for the initial setup settings. Now we can clear all of this second part because we will be making a lot of changes. So we start off by typing the macOS and Linux label. That way the viewer can understand that the following installation command will correspond to those. To do it, we will be using the type command and follow that by our text. In this case, it is this. So I just copy it and paste it like so. Then we add a 500 millisecond delay by typing sleep 500 ms. Then we finally add enter to move to the next line. The reason why we add this sleep is because it will make the animation more smoother. Anyways, now let's add the actual brew command, which is this. So I copy it and do what we have done previously. We again use the type command and follow that by a sleep, but this time we will be adding a greater delay, like 2 seconds. We add greater delay because I want viewers to see this for a longer time. And after doing that, this is important, I won't be adding enter because I don't want to execute homebrew. Instead, what we will be doing is using the backspace command. This will erase the command in the same line so that we can type the second part of it. As for the backspace command goes, it takes character count as an input. So if I were to give it 5, it will simulate backspace press for 5 times. In this example, we want all of the command to be deleted. So I highlight all of the command and as we can see that my editor tells me it is 41 characters. Therefore, I will give it 41. It is pretty straightforward. After doing so, we will again repeat the whole typing sequence, but this time we will be using this, which is the second command in this installation instruction. So fast forward, after adding that, we will end up with this. Notice that, again, we don't put any enter or backspace in the end. Instead, this time we will be putting Ctrl C and Ctrl L. In addition to that, I won't be putting any delay in between them. And that is because I want them to be executed as fast as possible. What this will do is two basic things. It will cancel the current command and clear the whole terminal. So it will be ready for the Windows instructions. And speaking of Windows instructions, it is literally two lines of text. So we won't be doing anything special with it. That said, to save a bit of time, let's fast forward again and we have this final script. All we added was typing Windows, moving to the next line, typing scoop installation command, waiting for 5 seconds and finish off the whole sequence. And that's it. Now all we have to do is run the VHS with this script and let it give us an animated GIF. In order to do this, I head to the terminal, type VHS and then feed the install instructions.tape file, like so. 
After that, we just run it and wait for it to complete. Once that's done, we check our directory and we can see that it created a GIF file named install instructions, which is perfect and what we wanted in the first place. To see that GIF, I will be using a tool called MPV. It will let me open up multimedia files from the terminal. So I just type MPV install instructions.gif and there we have it. As you can see, we just created a command line animation from simple scripting. Although my implementation is very simple, I hope that it will help you to get the idea. To learn more about it, you can always check out the project page in the description down below. In the end, creating command line animations from scripting has great benefits. It will help us to create more understandable documentations, instructions, and many more things. That said, I hope you will find this introductory video to VHS helpful. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.